Hi, my name is Ryan Cooper, and this is my Chapter 8 presentation on the 2021 Mars Perseverance rover. A couple of differences between a rover, a lander, and an orbiter is that a rover is a vehicle that can uh, move about on the surface of the planet, whereas orbiters, they can only fly around the planet and map the planet and act as a communications relay for experiments on the surface. Landers, similar to rovers, can touch down and perform experiments, but they can only perform those experiments within the reach of the robotic arms, usually focusing on weather observations. Looking more in-depth into space exploration rovers, they can get samples from different places on the surface, something that landers cannot do. They are designed either as land vehicles or strictly autonomous robots. They can carry astronauts on the surface or they can take panoramic pictures and be used more as a scientific experiment. They can collect samples such as rocks, soils, dust, and even liquids and take them back to Earth. When talking about the 2020 Mars Perseverance rover, it is based off the Curiosity rover shown on the bottom left. It is about 10 feet long, 9 feet wide, and 7 feet tall. However, at 2,260 pounds, it weighs even less than a compact car. Whenever looking at the different parts of the Perseverance rover, it can be seen that the different parts are used almost as if we use our lungs and our legs and our feet, our different body parts, to survive on the surface of Mars. Taking a look at some of the instruments that make the uh, 2020 Mars rover a little bit more special than the rovers of the past are the MassCam Z, which is an advanced camera system that can take panoramic and stereoscopic imaging, the Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, which are sensors that provide measurements of temperature, wind speed, direction, etc., the MOXIE, which is the Mars Oxygen ISRU experiment which is an exploration technology investigation that will produce oxygen from the Martian atmospheric carbon dioxide, super cool. The SuperCam, which is an in instrument that can provide imaging, chemical composition analysis, and mineralogy. Now moving on to more of the science within the uh, 2020 Mars Perseverance. In past explorations to Mars, NASA uses the uh, phrase, follow the water. That is when uh, they had found liquid water that existed on Mars in the distant past. Perseverance's older cousin, Curiosity, explored the habitability of Mars. Mars indeed used to have regions that could have been friendly to life in the ancient past. Now, Perseverance is set to explore the Jezro crater. From orbit, this crater shows all the promising signs of a place that was likely friendly to life in the distant past. The goal is to study the site in detail of past conditions and the very signs of past life. Its mission is to identify and collect most compelling rock core and soil samples, which a future mission could retrieve and bring back to Earth for more detailed study. That is where perseverance comes into play. It will also test technologies needed for future human robotic exploration of Mars. Missions before Perseverance have found that liquid water existed on Mars in the ancient past. In 2011, the Curiosity rover found the chemical building blocks of life and energy sources that could have established Mars that had regions that could be friendly to life in the ancient past. Now, in 2021 into 2022, Perseverance will take the next natural step in the Mars exploration. It will look for places in the Jezero crater that were habitable to life in the ancient past. Perseverance will also study the evolution of Mars' climate. In addition to these scientific goals, Perseverance has a unique goal of collecting samples of Mars' material for possible return to Earth. Since other missions before did not collect samples, they were focused solely on studying the surface to answer scientific questions. Out of all of the objectives that this mission had, the one that is of the highest priority and most interesting to me is the preparation to humans. On this mission, NASA scientists and engineers are trying to consume oxygen production from the Martian atmosphere for future exploration missions. They're trying to surface weather measurements to validate global atmospheric models, while as also trying to understand the effects of the atmospheric dust has to the human health, whereas engineers are trying to uh, put sensors in that can gather data and bring back thermal protection systems. 
The Perseverance will test technologies that could help sustain human presence on Mars someday.